Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our NHL 24 Create a Team series. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create the Utah Fury in NHL 24. Um, just like the last video with the Utah Blizzard, um, this is just one of the three names that was trademarked by uh, the Utah NHL group. And this is kind of just my take on what this team would be like given basically anything that's available uh, in NHL 24. Uh, the options are limited, so I'm just kind of working within those parameters. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm here at the logos and branding screen. Um, obviously you can see the team colors are red, black, and white. And I'll show you how to get those. Um, they're all very basic. They're all just in the standard color screen. Um, so the red is this one. It's one up from the bottom here. And then the black is just um, all the way down here. It's this one. Um, and then I'll just cut to the chase and the white one is the standard first color right there. I try to make it easy and accessible so that everyone could get it without having to go through a whole color wheel and try to you know, inch one way or another to get the exact right color. Um, so as you can see, this is the first logo. Um, it's just a lion here roaring. Um, I felt like it made the most sense. It's custom logo 98 um, and there's the coloring for it. And then the secondary logo here is just claws kind of clawing through fabric I guess kind of like ripping through the jersey it looks like. Um, and that one is also a custom logo and it is custom logo 142. Um, and then that's the coloring for it. And then the tertiary logo is a custom logo once again and it is custom logo 26 um, and that's the coloring for it there it's pretty basic all right and now i'll show you the jersey here uh, the jersey i went with is jersey style number 73 um, and i'll show you the coloring here uh, that's it right there and then the uh, logos I chose is the main logo and then the secondary logo on both shoulders. Uh, and then the font style I went with was font style number 24. And I'll show you the font coloring right there. It's pretty standard. Is pants style number one. It's just all black. Um, and then the sock style I went with is sock style number six. And I'll show you the coloring there. All right. And then the away jersey is the exact same jersey. It's uh, jersey style number 73. Uh, and I'll show you the coloring here. All right. And the logos and the font style is exactly the same. And this is the font coloring. All right. Uh, and then as you can see the pants and the socks are both exactly the same right down to the coloring so I won't show you those uh, but then now onto the alternate jersey and I don't know why it keeps doing this but um, there's like a really big glitch with NHL where it just sets you back to um, the jersey we're just on when you're trying to alternate between the home away and alternates um, but anyways uh, jersey style number 38 is the alternate jersey I'll show you the coloring here right and then the font or not the fonts uh, the logos is the tertiary logo for the uh, chest logo and then the um, the secondary logo on the shoulders once again uh, and then the font I went with is just font style number one there it's the basic one um, and then the font coloring is here all right and then the pants style is exactly the same, and so is the sock style, but the sock coloring is a little bit different. Uh, as you can see here, it's kind of like an all black uniform. All right, so we'll start off here with the home. Uh, the helmet color is red um, with white there. Uh, and then the helmet options, I put uh, the main logo as uh, on either side of the helmet there with the helmet number. Uh, and then the glove color is like this and the goalie equipment once again 
is just apply team colors and it's that across the board um, the away jersey is exactly the same once again um, but then the alternate switches it up a little bit uh, it's a black helmet to go with the all black jersey um, the glove color is a little bit different as well um, but then obviously the goaltending equipment is exactly the same so now here at the club details um, the team name is Fury of course uh, the city name is once again Utah uh, the team nickname is Fury uh, the play by play team name they don't have Fury in the game so this was kind of the closest I could come up with it's a French word um, which I won't try to pronounce right now um, but the way I think it pronounced, it's pronounced, it sounds close enough to Fury um, that it'll do for me. Um, the abbreviation is Utah, of course. Arena name, Delta Center. Uh, and then the owner send, spending, owner success, and owner patience is exactly the same all across the board. And so is the team prestige, market size, fan base, national fan base, um, and then the popularity as well. So pretty standard there um, and then once again I didn't make a mascot um, and the arena is mostly the same um, there are some slight changes that I'll try to show you here um, mainly the base architecture um, I just kind of had to copy uh, the team colors basically so that there's at least a little bit of uh, local pride or uh, team pride in the uh, in the stands or in the arena um, and then the presentation is a little bit different. I did the large slow strobe um, for the goalie spotlight. I did just the large static basic one for a skater. The goal stanchion effect is a bounce. It's just red and white. Um, the signature effects, there are none. The hat trick goal, I did hats. I switched up from the salmon this time. Uh, the goal light, I did uh, the bar. Um, the intro stanchion effect is just solid one color. It's the red. Um, intro effect type none. The on ice projections um, to kind of go with the fury. Um, I went with the firestorm. Uh, the national anthems once again American. No props. Power play pre presentation number two. The win presentation is just, just the salute, and then the rink announcer is of course on. Um, and then once again, f just like the last video, uh, the goal horn. Um, has not changed from the Saints, so I won't go over that one again. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video, remember to click like and subscribe. And as always, have an awesome day.